Number 12, knuckle cracking. You've probably been warned that cracking your knuckles will give you arthritis, but that is completely untrue. The popping sound is not your bones grinding together. It's the sound of tiny gas bubbles forming and bursting inside the fluid of your joints, kind of like opening a soda can. And there's zero evidence that it leads to long-term joint damage or arthritis. Scientists have studied this myth for decades, but no one proved it wrong more than Dr. Donald Unger. For over 50 years, he cracked the knuckles on his left hand every day while leaving the other alone. At the end of his long experiment, he found no difference in arthritis between his two hands. Organizations like Harvard Health and Johns Hopkins confirm that the habit is harmless, so you can crack away without fear of arthritis. The only real danger is annoying the people around you. Number 11, you have way more than five senses. You've probably been told your whole life that humans have five senses, sight, sound, smell, taste, and touch. That's it. That's about as true as saying the alphabet only has five letters. The truth is humans have somewhere between 14 and 20 senses. For example, your sense of balance. That's equilibrioception. It's how you know you're standing upright, your sense of where your body parts are in space without looking at them. That's proprioception. It's how you can scratch your nose with your eyes closed. There is also thermoception, your ability to feel temperature and nociception, your sense of pain. These are not just feelings. They are distinct senses with their own neurological pathways. So while most people are walking around thinking they only have five senses, your brain is actually processing a complex orchestra of information every second. Number 10, you don't swallow spiders in your sleep. This one has been making people squirm for years. The creepy claim that you swallow eight spiders yearly while sleeping. This myth is not only completely wrong, it's also impossible. Spiders have no desire to be in your bed. They prefer dark, quiet corners. A sleeping person is a giant, noisy, vibrating mass that scares them off. The idea that a spider would willingly crawl into a human's mouth, a dark, wet cave that opens and closes, is ridiculous. This whole thing was likely a hoax from the 1990s designed to prove how gullible people are and how readily people accept as fact for information they read online. Number nine, bulls don't see red. Every matador waves a red cape to enrage a bull and we've all been taught that red is a color that drives them into a frenzy. That's complete nonsense. Bulls are dichromatic, meaning they are colorblind to red and green. They see the world in shades of blue, violet, and yellow. The matador's cape could be any color, and it would have the exact same effect. The bull is not enraged by the color. It's enraged by the constant motion of the cape being waved in front of its face. The waving cloth is what provokes the charge. The red is just for show. It makes the spectacle more dramatic for the human audience. So the next time you see a bull charging, remember it's not the color red that's making it angry. It's the waving motion and the human provoking it that's driving it crazy. Number eight, the hangry feeling. Every time you get snappy because you missed a meal, someone probably tells you it's all in your head, that you're just being dramatic. But that feeling of being hangry is absolutely real, and scientists have the data to prove it. When you don't eat, your blood sugar levels drop, and a low fuel brain is a stressed out brain. Your brain runs on glucose, and when it's running low, it triggers a stress response. It releases cortisol and adrenaline, the same hormones that kick in when you're in danger, so while a kid bouncing off the walls at a birthday party is just excited, 
you are dealing with a legit biological threat response. Your brain isn't just being difficult, it's screaming for fuel. Number seven, bats are not blind. You've probably heard of the phrase blind as a bat, which is used to describe someone with poor eyesight, but that whole idea is completely wrong. Bats can see just fine. They have small sensitive eyes that are great at navigating in darkness. While they're famous for their use of echolocation, which is basically their version of sonar, they actually use both their eyes and their echolocation to navigate. Think of it like this. The echolocation is for the finer details, like catching a tiny moth. But their eyes are for the big picture, like seeing a tree or a building. Anatomical studies and behavioral tests confirm that bats use their vision to spot prey and find their way around. This myth likely came from their nocturnal life. Because they hunt at night, people just assumed they were blind. Number six. The calm before the storm is a real thing. The saying, the calm before the storm, sounds like something from a movie and people often use it metaphorically, but it's actually a real meteorological phenomenon. Just before a severe thunderstorm, there's often a period of eerie calm where the wind dies down and the air feels unnaturally still. This happens because the storm's powerful updraft is pulling air inward and upward, creating a vacuum that cancels out the normal wind patterns. Think of it like a giant fan sucking all the air toward it. So when the sky gets dark and it suddenly gets quiet outside, that's your cue to get inside. It means a storm is building right on top of you. These moments of stillness are a clear signal that the worst is about to begin. Number five, you're never too old to learn. You've probably heard that your brain stops developing after a certain age. And once you're an adult, you can't really learn new things. That's about as true as saying an old dog can't learn new tricks. This idea is so common that people stop trying to learn new skills in their 30s or 40s. The truth is, your brain is a lifelong learner. Scientists now know about neuroplasticity, which is just a fancy word for your brain's ability to rewire itself and form new connections at any age. Even at 80, you can learn a new language or how to play the piano. Your brain will create new neural pathways. While it might take a little more work than when you were a kid, it's completely possible. Your brain is a muscle that gets stronger the more you use it. So if you've given up on a skill thinking you're too old, your brain is just waiting for you to get started. Number four, gladiators were the celebrities of their time. You've probably heard that gladiators were all slaves forced to fight to the death. While some were slaves, this whole idea is completely wrong. This whole gladiator myth was made up by Hollywood. Gladiators were elite athletes and celebrities in ancient Rome, not just desperate men in a death sport. Going into battle wearing something that could get you killed is not practical. But gladiator fights were heavily regulated. They had referees and doctors on call. Most fights didn't end in death. They often ended with a fighter giving up or a referee stopping the match. The real gladiators that archaeologists have found were often well-fed, well-cared-for professionals with their own training schools and even unions. Now, millions of people think gladiators were just a brutal part of ancient history, when in reality, they were the paid entertainers of their time. Number three, chewing gum boosts your brain. You've probably heard that chewing gum is a bad habit that makes you look unprofessional. That's complete nonsense. Chewing gum actually has real, scientifically proven cognitive benefits. When you chew gum, you increase blood flow to your brain. This brings more oxygen and glucose to the areas that control things like memory and attention. Scientists have found that people who chew gum during a task perform better on tests of memory, concentration, and focus. One study showed that people who chewed gum during a difficult test had a higher score than the people who didn't. 
your brain's ability to focus is boosted by this simple act. So next time you have something important that requires your full attention and brain power, try chewing some gum. Number two, the great cheese lie. Every cartoon you've ever watched shows a mouse drooling over a giant block of Swiss cheese. That's Hollywood nonsense and completely false. While a mouse will eat cheese if it's the only thing available, they prefer sweets and sugary foods. Scientists have done countless studies on mice and their food preferences are always fruits, grains, and chocolate over dairy. This myth likely started in the Middle Ages when people stored their grain and sweet foods in a secure place, leaving cheese out in the open. The mouse was eating the cheese simply because it was the only easy option. So next time you find yourself with a mice problem, try luring them with something sweet. Number one, humans did not evolve from chimps. The idea that we evolved directly from chimpanzees is one of the most common misconceptions about evolution. We did not evolve from chimps. We share a common ancestor. Think of it like a family tree. You and your cousin share a grandparent, but you didn't evolve from your cousin. And about six to seven million years ago, a single species split into two separate evolutionary lines. One line became modern chimpanzees and the other line became modern humans. Humans and chimps are cousins on the evolutionary family tree. So while we share 98% of our DNA, that doesn't mean we came from them. The fossil record and DNA evidence show a parallel journey. It's a complex family tree highlighting evolution's web of life. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to see more.